Now, who says you can't put a battery in a big truck? This is a big truck. All right? And for all you bonneted lovers, it's a Kenworth. And there, my friends, is a battery. We've just been talking to Lex Forsyth, and he's chatting to someone else, but we'll just get him into camera here. Right, who is uh, along with... Uh, Along with who? Bevan Dooley. With Bevan Dooley is the inventor and developer and everything else to do with this. And this truck will go from Sydney to Melbourne with one battery changeover, which is predicted to be about tar cutter. And I'll come across costs and talk about those within the future. Uh, I've got the full details recorded. But guys, you've got to wonder where these guys are at by comparison because whether you like it or not batteries are coming and for you guys that like your Kenworths you can have it in a package that's nice you might just want to add a couple of fake eight inch pipes up the back there and uh, you'll be away fascinating so this battery just unplugs basically you stop a tar cutter a forklift will take that battery out and I'll walk over here so you can get a better look at that and pop this one in and you keep going. It's a three minute changeover. Don't tell me you can fill your tanks in that time. You gotta hand it. This is an Australian invention, Australian ingenuity. I mean, we got it all. All we need is people behind it to help get it off the road, off the ground, I off should say, ground, and, onto, and onto the road. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. I love it. Talk to you soon. Right, so I'm back at the Brisbane Truck Show, and uh, two years ago, I had a chat to, to Lex about his Janus truck, which is an electric one, and probably the only feasible opportunity to run a truck long distance in Australia. How are you, mate? I'm really good, Kirby. How are you, mate? Mate, I'm excellent. Good to see you again. Likewise. Now, now the last time um, you, had a, you had a Kenworth of some description here, and the battery went in through the front. Yeah, so it was a Kenworth T403. That's it, yep. um, An ex-Craig Arthur's truck from Adelaide, done about 850,000 kilometres. Okay. Now we're looking at a T610. Yeah. That, um, that uh, well, it doesn't matter how many Ks it's done, because it the, a, the, the, the motor that it started life with is no longer in it. Correct. So Correct. what we've got now is uh, the latest Janus iteration, mate. Take us through it. Yeah, so what we've done, we've changed the way that we do it. We've, we've now got a conversion kit that goes in the front, so it's like a crate motor. So, so what we do is we drop it straight in where the diesel engine is. You can see the JCM over there on the other side of the stand there, but it's a motor and gearbox package with all the ancillary services for the motor on top. So your air compressor, your uh, power steering pump, your air conditioner, and your water pump for your cooling is all in one package that goes directly in where the diesel engine comes out of. And what we've done is we've taken the battery from the front and we've put them down on the side where the, where the fuel tanks come off of. So what it's done is it's improved the centre of gravity by 7% on the vehicle vertically right. and about 5% horizontally. And what it's enabled us to do is to distribute that weight at a lower centre of gravity and have it as two split packs on either side of the truck. Right. Um, protection, truckies will bump into things from the side. Uh, they're, they're, they're engineered to withstand 20G impact. Oh, okay. Um, and, and, so and you that answers the, that question. Yeah, well, the steps on the side are a 6 mil plate that run across the chassis of the of the battery so that if you do have side impact, it, it gets taken up in that plate. Right. Now, in terms of changeability, of course, there's advantages in the system as well because there would be guys out there that would want bull bars on their trucks and it would have been difficult with the, the, the last setup you had where the battery went in Correct. under the bonnet. Correct. And, and it, it was about making, the, making that battery usable across a multiple different trucks. So that battery will fit on a Mac, it'll fit on a Freightliner, it'll fit on a uh, Kenworth, it'll fit on a Western Star, and it'll fit on a Volvo. So, so it's about having a common energy source. Basically anyone who used to have a fuel tank. Correct, correct. That's it. <laughs> I like it. So uh, how long has this iteration been around, mate? Uh, look, this is truck nine out of the factory. Yep. So after we finished the truck show last year, we re redesigned everything and went, we're changing this. Just from feedback from the industry as well too, and basically we've gone to this conversion module. So our Freightliner went straight to a side battery solution. So we call them a JSB, a Genus side battery, mm -hmm. and they're an exchangeable battery. So you can swap the battery in four minutes, and the beauty of it is... is I've you got, got time to order them in Big Mac on that basis. Well, exactly, and you've got, and the other side of it is you can swap it with a two and a half ton forklift now. So you're not trying to pick up a four or five ton battery pack in one go, you're picking up two two ton battery packs. Right, okay, yeah, so that yeah creates more opportunities Correct. and less cost effectively in terms of the equipment needed to change motor. Exactly, and everyone's got a two ton forklift, haven't they, or two and a half ton forklift. Yeah, well, depot. I have 
doesn't, but you know. Yeah, but most places you go. <laughs> I don't need yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's it's very exciting. I, I think I said to you last time, I don't know why any of the OEMs didn't go this way, maybe because they're jealous of you. Um, I've, I've yet to hear a, a good reason why something like this just wouldn't be done, and I'm so glad that you're doing it. You know, you've got a solution for long distance travel in this country Correct. that is is quick and um, and will get you from one end of the eastern seaboard to the other, which is where I, I, I gather you're planning to to have your, your stops in yep. the short term. Yeah, we're building out a different network. So stage one, Brisbane to Sydney, will be done by Christmas. Yep. So you're about to do Brisbane to Sydney as a line haul application. Stage two will complete in the middle of next year, which is Sydney to Melbourne. And, and then we're just slowly bringing on different highway different highway sections as it comes and makes sense. So one of the other pieces is, is we're also agnostic to cell chemistry. So as new cell chemistries come out that double the energy density of, of the capacity of the battery, mm-hmm. we then put those cells into the box. So it means that you can go, we'll eventually have a battery where you'll be able to go Brisbane to Mackay without having to change a battery. So why build the North Queensland network? until you've got batteries that can go further and yes. meet more of the operational requirements of those fleets. Yep, and anyone that's got a truck will be able to swap the old batteries out for the new ones and Correct. they're going to get that mileage Correct. It's uh, without having to strip the truck down, Start nut and bolt, yeah. which is what you've currently got to do with a lot of the setups, I see. Yeah, that's exactly Lex, it. Lex, congratulations, yeah, mate. Thanks, Kirby. Appreciate it, mate. Love keeping an eye on what you're doing. We'll keep following you and uh, we and can only wish you all the success thanks in the world, mate, and I know you'll do it. Thanks, mate. Champion, mate. Thanks, Thank Kirby. you. Thanks, mate.